I think this home certainly has such an inviting and uh, comfortable warmth to it. It just feels really happy and warm. I'm Leah Cumming, founder of Maison Madeline, and this is my home in Los Angeles. So this is a Spanish colonial style home in Hancock Park. It was built in 1924. I've nicknamed the house my Hancock Park hideaway. It really kind of feels like a Spanish Mediterranean little oasis. I would say the house is whimsical, uh, old world, and hopefully refined yet relaxed. I thankfully didn't have to make too many major changes when I moved into the home. For me, my focus was really on like the flow of the house and layouts and furniture plans that felt really organic and you kind of are moving from one room into the next. So the house is set up in a way where the right half of the house is used for entertaining and the public spaces. The other side of the house is where all the private spaces are. So when I entertain, one side of the house is kept private and the other side is where people are welcome to enjoy and relax. The house actually kind of doubles as the Maison Madeleine headquarters. I have an office here and I find myself working from the dining table most mornings. My best design decisions and ideas have come from, you know, having a cup of coffee and sitting around that table and drafting and coming up with something. I definitely use my home to entertain a lot. That is something that fills me with joy. I am constantly hosting dinner parties. In the summer, I have a lot of pool afternoons. One of the previous owners was a landscape designer, um, so he kind of masterfully designed and created this entire backyard oasis. And he was inspired by Marfa, Texas, and the dry gardens there meets YSL's private garden in his home in Marrakesh. So I kind of love the combination of the two, and I feel like that's something I probably wouldn't pair together, but it works seamlessly and beautifully. This home makes me really happy. It is something that obviously is a work in progress, like all homes are, and it's constantly changing and evolving, but it's a space where I've kind of curated and filled it with all my favorite pieces and objects and things that tell a story. 